so excited to get crazy this morning that we completely forgot to film anything about where we're actually headed today. <laughs> we're only going to Middlewich, which is only six miles from where we were moored. So probably only about three miles now. <laughs> I think we're about halfway there. Yeah. And uh, we're going to top up with water because we did two loads of washing. <laughs> we weren't able to do any washing while we broke it down. Nope, because we couldn't use our washing machine because we couldn't run our engine. <clears throat> so we've uh, yeah used all the water we topped up on yesterday or the day before and then we're also going to get some fuel to be sure that yeah we're not gonna we run don't out. have the same issue we had last week <laughs> CRT volunteers have opened this lock for us and we just get straight in. <laughs> Yesterday afternoon we came up through the lock, first lock on the Middlewich branch. Mm -hmm. um, we did that and moored up here for the day. And we also topped up with fuel at the little um, chandlery, chandlery there. there. King's lock. So it was in three years, just over three years of voting, it was the first time we've ever had to do a self-serve <laughs> diesel top-up. Yeah. So that was interesting. Yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> but easy, just like filling up a car. So. Yeah. <laughs> This morning we are setting off from Middlewich and we're going to do the entirety of the Middlewich branch which is about a 10 mile stretch. Yep. Because we need to get water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because we we're not water desperate. Point, we're not super desperate but we have done two loads of washing on one tank and we don't get much more water beyond yeah. that out of our tank. Yeah, well our tank always can do two loads of washing and probably three or four days worth of normal water use. Yes, so. We, uh, we desperately need some water, so <laughs> we're hopefully going to get that today. And then in the next couple of days we should reach Chester. Yeah. And we've never been to Chester on the boat before, so this will be interesting. Yeah. Something new. Something new. <laughs> but we have done the Middlewich branch before, uh, when we were heading towards the Clanoughlin uh, the year before last. So yeah. it's, this, this branch is not completely unknown to us. <laughs> exactly. But instead of turning left at the end of the bridge, we'll be turning right and heading to Chester. Yeah, there'll be all new canal for us. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't done that bit, so.
I brought travel snacks from Maggie. Travel snacks? <laughs> yes. Basically easy, lunch. <laughs> easy dipping snacks. Yes. <laughs> Store bought, unfortunately. <laughs> We knew we'd be traveling today, so we wanted to have something quick while we we're moving. You so we just picked up some dips and crisps. You mean you didn't make them from scratch for me? Well, I scratched open the packet. <laughs> it has been really busy on this canal today just in like the last half hour there's been about eight or nine boats that have gone past us in the opposite direction yeah big groups of them too the, yeah that was five of them all kind of very close together and you kind of expect on a canal with locks that boats will be more spaced out because as the lock kind of forces you to be spaced out because it takes time to fill a lock or to empty a lock and but the, there have been <laughs> a lot of boats in the last half hour. More than I was expecting. Oh yeah. <laughs> We've turned onto the Shropshire Union Canal from the Middlewich Bridge and we are heading north towards Chester. So we're not going to go too much further until we reach the services where we can top up on water and all of that fun stuff. And then we're just going to find somewhere to moor up for the day. I think we're all cruised out for today. Yeah. <laughs> we did pretty much the whole Middlewich branch. Yeah. Which is what, 10 miles? 10 miles, yeah. And then up here by what, a mile and a half? Two probably miles two miles. Yeah. Probably about 12 miles today, so yeah. that's quite impressive for us. <laughs> another boat because when he passed us the whole boat dipped and like got pulled out and yeah. I'm 
I'm like, wow, it's like we're all off the coast. <laughs> it's a bit of a wave. holding our boat over to one side because uh, I'm a little bit worried about sharing this lock with a plastic boat. I don't want to accidentally crush it if we end up floating over that side of the lock. <laughs> Locks can be unpredictable, you're never quite sure what the water is going to do. Well, we're moored up. We came quite a bit further than <laughs> we were expecting. Well, yeah, we did the whole Middlewich branch and we came quite a few miles up here. Went through the staircase lock and went through one of the other locks. Yeah, so there's still more locks to go through to get to Chester, but we found a nice spot with some rings to moor on um, because a lot of this stretch is uh, not very mooring friendly. You'd have to put pins in and yeah, so pins are horrible <laughs> so we saw rings and we're like we'll take them please yeah yeah <laughs> that's it so i hope you've enjoyed joining us on this little stretch of starting some new canal <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and if you have don't forget to give the video a like if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time bye bye pickles <laughs> oh, hello pixel She's had enough of cruising for the day. She was lying on the back, giving us grumpy whines and, and those heavy sighs. <sighs> yeah, she had enough. It was a she, long day, wasn't it, Pixar? She's looking at the towpath thinking, hmm, are we going to go for a walk? walk? <laughs> yes, we are going to go for a walk, We're going to go for a walk, Pixar. <laughs>